On Monday morning, the 29th of November, 1773, a handbill was posted all over Boston with the following words, Friends, brethren, and countrymen. The worst of plagues, a detected tea shipped from this port by the East India Company, is now arrived in the harbor. On Thursday, December 16th, 1773, 90,000 pounds of tea were thrown overboard by the colonists. We will talk today with one of the people involved. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. So you're part of Boston Tea Party, right? Yes, sir. Describe what went down that night in December. Well, uh, we all gathered up, about 130 of us, and uh, dressed up as Indians, got on a boat in the harbor, uh, imported some tea, and we dumped the tea into the harbor. Okay, describe the amount of tea that was thrown on board that night. Hmm. Well, if I had to put a, a guesstimate on it, there would be about... 300 to 350 chests of tea. How many people were there that night? I already told you, 130. Sorry, my script. Around 130. Around 130. Maybe 129, maybe 131. I don't know. Gotcha. Um, what are the procedures of this destruction that you guys did? Well, we all, let's say we all gathered up and uh, we set people for watch outs so they would. Tell us when the British were coming, if they did. And we all dressed up as Indians, had little feathers and paint. And junk. Yeah, yeah, you're telling that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we all went on the boat and the tea off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Was this all planned way ahead of time? It was, it was the plan. So you all assigned tasks for everyone else? And yes, sir. While we were tryouts? <laughs> no, sir, it was not tryouts. Um, what happened after this? Well, there was a lot of uh, jail time, people were getting arrested, trials, junk like that, and it led to the American Revolutionary War. Uh, so did you lose any of your friends that night? No. To jail? No. Well, there was a few. Yeah. Still have your wife and kids? Yeah. 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 Awesome. I still get to play some golf every now and then. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. In the late 18th century, Americans enjoyed more liberties than most people in the world, and they paid lower taxes than the subjects of any other European state. Even as they declared alliances with Britain's monarchs, they started to mess with the royalty of their officials. Though they professed loyalty and the rules of English law, they boycotted imports to find taxes and burned ships that docked in their ports. Now we'll talk to the soldiers are one of the soldiers today that is in the war right now. Hello, my name is Walter Sigmund. I'm with Dick Richardson. Second, I'm with Dick Richardson. Uh, so you're a soldier in the American Revolutionary War? Yes, I am. Well, that's swell. Um, how do you guys feel about the tax that Britain has put on you guys? Well, it doesn't make us very happy. Wouldn't assume so. Uh, what are the weapons you guys use in the well, uh, our most common weapon is the smooth bore, smooth bore flintlock musket. That's cool. Um, where are these battles fought? Around the 13 colonies. Some of them are at sea. Some of them are at sea. Uh, can you describe your uniform to me? Uh, it's the primary color is blue. We have red, red stripe down the middle where the buttons are, and red cuffs. Cool. Swag. Do you believe that you will win the war? Yes, we will win this war. Think so? No, sir. No, sir. That's good confidence. Uh, last question. What are you guys' food sources? Whatever we can kill and eat. <laughs> well, I guess so. Well, good talking to you. I'm Buddy Mitchell. Dick Richardson the third. So Dick Richardson the second. So Dick Richardson. Mouth what you got there, sir. Sir, sir, we're going to have to ask you to pull your pants down. It's not appropriate for NBC in okay, 60 sorry. minutes. Sorry, sir. Okay, go on. So, uh, how was this war ended? Well, well, you see, it was a beautiful war between both sides. I mean, one side over here is fighting, the other side over here is fighting, and they all just fight for one thing. And then at the very end, you know, we were in the victory because they gave up. That's good. Yeah, it was, it was a great war. It's great. So, how is life, what is life like now after the, after the war? Well, I got a beautiful wife and beautiful kids, and I love them all to death. I mean, you should know what that is like. 
beautiful kids have? Well, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm living pretty peaceful, pretty nice to be off them, and it's good. So how did the Lord change you, and who are you now? It, it made me a better person, you know? I mean, I just feel so much better not being under their control, and I can go outside and just do what I want to do now. I feel so much better. So are you still aligned alliances with Britain? No, we got rid of this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad do you hate them? Yeah. Wow. Hate's a strong word. It's very strong. I know. I hate them! Oh, wow. Do you feel that was a well-fought war? Yeah, well, you know, it was a great war. Well, like I said earlier, it was beautiful. Once I were here, once I were here, and then once together, it was beautiful. Well, that's all we have for you right now, so. <laughs> <laughs>